Hear the frustration from SeaCom workers in Sierra Vista after technical issues completely shut down their non emergency line for days. Thanks for joining us for 13 News Live at 10. I'm Dan Maris and I'm Mary Coleman. The problem was fixed after four this afternoon, but left residents and operators worried about the stability of the emergency line in a time of need. 13 News reporter Sean Mahoney spoke with local officials about what is being done to prevent this from happening again. Sean, what went wrong again? Exactly. Yeah, well, Mary, Dan, SeaCom officials tell me it was a problem with their optimal carrier switch. Yeah, in simpler terms, because I don't know what that means. I don't know if you know what that means, but it basically means something out of their control and more towards the control of their service provider. An issue SeaCom officials say can't happen again. This has been a tremendous concern to me because our community, that's how they reach us. For SeaCom officials who are essential to coordinating 911 services and also handling non-essential calls, a problem in their phone line connection was a brutal blow. Um, it started off gradually a couple of days ago where um, my my team members would actually be on an admin call and the call would drop. And that problem reached a breaking point today as their entire admin line, which handles all the non-emergency calls, went down for the Sierra Vista area, forcing officials to take matters into their own hands. We actually have four cell phones here in the center. Um, I've got four dispatchers actually assigned one to each of those cell phones. The team tried to communicate over Facebook this change to residents. However, the loss of the main line also came with additional issues in assisting police. We've actually had to look up the phone number, dial out on a cell phone. It's time consuming while answering radio traffic. In a high speed chase from Douglas to Benson this morning, instead of easily connecting information through SeaCom services, dispatchers had to do that manually. We asked the Cochise County Sheriff on how that affected the pursuit. I know we had the pursuit and we had a lot of problems with it because of our phone lines. Uh, so we know we're having problems. We got to get that fixed. And it did get fixed, but not without some headaches. SeaCom officials say Lumen Technologies, their provider, provided little communication on when the problem would get solved. We are a 911 center. We should have a little bit of priority. And, and I've actually asked if there was any way that we can elevate. Something that the sheriff says needs to change for the good of their residents. We'll all of us need to work together on this because public safety is paramount. We can't let that be fractured. We've got to have those that center up and running. And we rely on our, our private partners to do that. Now, SeaCom officials say in the case that the lines do go out again to go to their Facebook page for some of their alternate cell phones they use today. You can see one of them on your screen right here. Those will be up and running until this problem is fully resolved or to make sure that there's no more faulty lines over the next few days. Reporting live in studio, Sean Mahoney, 13 News. Sean, thank you. Well, communications are essential.